do a forward outlook for this coming week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find the channel helpful. Uh, so what we have here is on the daily, we're right at our point of control. Um, we also back tested our 200 SMA. If you're a moving average trader, this is what they would they would look at. You're just back testing the breakout. Um, we're going to get a little more fine tuned than that. Our upper value area is 422.60 and our lower value area is 372.41. So from here, we can see uh, a range, either push back up ahead or below, right? We're not looking to make a play right on this specific level. What we're looking at on the hourly, as you can see, we've been having these gap downs and we've just been, you know, kind of pressing lower. Um, what we're seeing on a 15 minute is this lower value area at 394.72. And what happened at the end of the day was a little displacement up, retrace, and then it tried to get going again, back up into the uh, upper value area or point of control on the 15 minute. So where do we think price is going to go? Well, on if we look at futures, uh, we were using uh, 4050 as our pivot. Okay, and we are definitely are trading below that. Let's drop this down to like a 20 day hourly. Sorry about that noise. Um, and we can see the clear displacement down, displacement down, down, and then down. Um, at what point can we look to get bullish again? Well, this lower value area on these three days um, is right around the 4,000 level. So we're still going to use 4050 as a pivot. But really, a break above 39.90 would be an area where we could say, OK, let's see if we reject here or if we push back up. If we push back up, we'll know clearly shorts are trapped down here. Um, but being that we've been following uh, trends, it just seems the momentum is to the downside, especially after the information that came out. Let's take a look at it on like trading view for uh, the mini. And this was our game plan, right? So at first we we took profit on our longs and then we were looking for good opportunities to short. This would have been the best area to go. So do I think that we still make it up there? I don't know. Um, it's looking more and more unlikely. We did long some uh, 390 puts right here and they went up over 100%. Um, but we didn't short futes, right? So... Um, what I would be looking for is a, a scenario for bulls, okay? I would say that this area, from this displacement up where you broke structure, you see we have this, if we go from this candle's, the, the prior candle's high to the next candle's low, where we create our fair value gap. We've tapped into it once, and then we pushed up and we ran these relative equal highs here. Now we're kind of pressed into it again. So what's going to happen? Are we going to run this? Because if we run this one, we're definitely taking out these relative equal lows, and then we're going to make a rundown on here. So this low on this candle here, which is, uh, what is this? This is uh, 39.47.50. If we go below 39.50 again, let's say, then then the trend is continuing down. Okay? Um, and if you were like a, a strat trader, you would just play this as, okay, this is a two down. Right? As soon as you break down. And then you're going to look to obviously run these. Um, so if we do have a spot for bulls to look to get long, that would be their support, 3950. And then you would proceed back up, run these, and then run this final high. And then this is your optimal short. Now that would cause a lot of pain for bears. And I already feel like this move here did that. It already, it's already been causing pains. We've pretty much been in an uptrend ever since we created the low on this day here, which was back in October. So so bears really haven't gotten what they were expecting, right? Especially with uh, rates, you know, just keep going up. Uh, the housing market is seeing a brief pullback down 10% from its highs. Um, and then uh, the data came out and said they're expecting it to pull down another 10%. So if you're a bear, the level that you don't want to see trade back above is the uh, 4050 pivot. And we could even say like this low on this candle here, which is 4055.75. Price should not trade back into that range from this candle. Okay. 
because if it if it breaks like this candle's high here, which is uh, forty ninety, if it takes out forty ninety, then you know that we're just gonna push back up. That's how I would play it moving forward. Um, but at the same time, we have seen a hell of a bear market rally, uh, especially across individual names like Tesla, Nvidia. Um, we're still waiting for names like Enphase to come back. So that will be. Look at a price for end phase. Um, still chilling at this point of control, right? Which is uh, 207.48, and it's down to like 198. Uh, hat did fill in this gap from here. Okay. And, you know, this is just a name that I like, especially as an overall hedged your portfolio, let alone the fact that, you know, they're a pretty solid company and they're growing good. Um, but you could even you could even scalp this back up to 251.69. I know I'm looking for 280s. So right around this level here. All right. And then we can take a look at um, Tesla again. Pretty popular name. Um, right at its yearly point of control. Uh, I would like to see this area get filled in here. That's the lower value area at 153.01. Um, But yeah, so Tesla, I am looking for downside. But if I expect that premium draw on liquidity to happen, then Tesla is going to go up and it should target this low here, which would be 262.47. Okay. Um, we'll take a look at Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft is coming back down, mitigating this imbalance here. From, from this price action, uh, point of control is at 242.26. All right. Um, lower value area will be 231. And right now it's in a pretty good spot for a bounce. If it's going to bounce, it's going to be right here. All right. Because I'd be looking at this candle's high where this fair value gap has been created. And that's going to be 248.65. And I don't want to see price trade below uh, 245.47. Okay. So that would be your that'd be your pivot short back into the point of control, maybe looking for a lower value area. Um, but that's just some individual names. Let me get back to uh, trading view. Right. So this is still the same exact plan. The only thing is, is that on like a 15 minute chart. See how this played out? Right where we bounced the 39, right below 39.50, and then back up. So this is going to be the critical level. Because what you did was you ran buy stops, or sorry, you ran sell stops here, here, and here. All right. Now, yeah, that shifts structure on like a 15 minute time span, but on a daily, it doesn't. On a daily, you don't really break structure at all. So in order to break it, you need to come down below here. All right. But that's how I'd be looking at it. That's how I'd play it this week. I'll catch you guys next time. Monday, we have core durable goods. Uh, these are medium algos. On Tuesday, we do have consumer confidence. Forecasted at 108.5, previous 107. Uh, Wednesday, we also have another hot one, uh, ISM Manufacturing PMI. And then we have some small ones right around Thursday. Friday, we do have uh, PMI services. So um, just keep that in mind as you're trading throughout the week. Um, these are posted in the Discord, so feel free to check them out.